it's come to light that Liberty Safe has a policy that if they get a phone call from a law enforcement agency, in this particular case, it happened to be the FBI who was investigating a January 6th suspect, and that law enforcement company calls Liberty Safe, and if they have a warrant to get into a person's safe, Liberty will voluntarily give them the reset access code to that safe so they can go into the safe, again, pursuant to a warrant, and take out all the items and stuff that are are in the safe. So needless to say, a lot of people on on the pro-gun side are angry about that. They're they're you know saying that Liberty's violating Second Amendment rights by cooperating with the FBI, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the first part of it, and then we'll get to the second part of it in a little bit. But in summation, that's what's going on. So Cindy, take it away. You got legal thoughts on that, personal thoughts on that. You go, and then Mike can start yelling at everybody. My my legal thoughts are exactly what you just said. That warrant was not addressed to Liberty. In other words, the 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 as far as we know, because we have nobody has actually seen the warrant. But based on the way Liberty worded their little apology, well, not apology, but their little um, publicity thing there, statement, right? Yeah, um, yeah their little statement. It, it implies that, just as Jeff said, the warrant was for the safe or the, the contents of the safe. It wasn't to Liberty. So Liberty was perfectly within their rights, if they had wanted to, to say, screw you guys, we're not giving you that. That's not a warrant for us to provide you with that information. Liberty says that their internal procedures this is what they do. Um, and that's where everybody got up in arms. And I agree. I mean, I think what they did was egregious. My turn. Yeah. And then I'll talk right. about the legality of it on the backside. But you, it, you, here's, you no. here's my personal opinion, right? Which isn't worth shit. Okay. But I'll let you know how I feel about this. If you buy a safe from a fucking company, that says, hey, if the FBI comes to us, we're gonna give them the access code, all right? Then that's your fault. Like, do I agree with what they did? No, all right? But everybody has a right to tell Liberty to go fuck off and go buy somebody else's safe. And that's what everybody should do, right? Do I, Am I upset at Liberty? I don't, like, I don't like what they did, but they're letting you know this is what we're going to do. Well, they're letting you know now. I guess the issue is we nobody knew about this policy until this case became public because it's a January 6th case, and that's why it's all over the newspapers.